Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I'll discuss one more problem of DFA. That is to design a DFA which accepts all strings of A comma B having odd number of A's and odd number of B's. In the previous video, we have already discussed a similar kind of problem that was for even number of A's and even number of B's. So there is not much difference between these two questions. So now, first of all, let's try to understand what kind of language this is and what is the minimum string in this case. So the minimum string in this case will be first odd number is 1. So we should have at least 1a and 1b in the string. So if we take a as 1, b as 1, then in that case, the string will be either ab or it will be either ba. Now next odd number is 3. So we take 3 number of b's and 3 number of a's. So 3 a's and 3 b's. So what I can have in this one? A, B, A, B, A, B, I can have or I can have B, A, B, A, B, A or I can have triple A, triple B or I can have triple B, triple A and so on. So I can have a number of options in this one. So let's first of all design a DFA for the minimum string and then we'll see other options as well. Okay. So in the minimum string, we have two length. So for two length, I need at least three states. It can be four also, but at least three states should be there. Okay. So let's design for the minimum string first. That is Q0 becomes my initial state. Then say it is Q1 and it is Q2. Now what I need? I need AB. Now we cannot make Q0 as the final state. Why? Because we are not accepting epsilon in this one. So if epsilon is not the part of the language, then the initial state cannot become the final state. So we need a B now. So what to do? A B and make this Q2 as final. So we are accepting A B now. That is A B. Next one is B A. So what to do? I need to accept B A also. So for B A, I'll take one more state, say Q3. Okay. So B and A. So this B A is also getting accepted. The A B is getting accepted. B A is getting accepted. Now come to this one. That is A B A B A B. So A B A B A B. I can what I can do in this one. So if you see, we have A B. Okay. Then again, if I add A B here, then again I can have A B A B. So I can have three A B is in the, in this one. That is A B A B A B again. So simply add. A, B here. That is, now see, A, B, A, B, A, B. That is, first A, B, second A, B, third A, B. So, this string is also getting accepted now. Now, next one is B, A, B, A. Now, B, A, for B, we have this path. So, again, we have B, A. So, what to do? B, A. If I add B, A here, then again, I have B, A. So simply what to do B A. Now see B A B A B A that is 1 B A, second B A and third B A and we are reaching on to the final state. So in this way we can have all the strings that have odd number of A's and odd number of B's. Okay. Now let's see this DFA is complete or not. So on Q0 we have two paths one for A, one for B. At Q1, we have two paths, one for A, one for B. Q2, one for A, one for B. Q3, one for A, one for B. So this DFA is absolutely complete now. Now, let's check some odd string also. That is, in this one, the odd string should be rejected. Even uh, the correct string is getting accepted, that's fine. But the odd string has to be rejected. So let's take some odd string. Odd string as a, A, B, B. That is, we have two A's and two B's. That is, even number of A's and even number of B's. So, technically, this should not be accepted in this one. So, let's check it out. Now, at Q0, so we are at Q0 and the pointer is on first A. Oh, so, on Q0, A applied, Q0, A applied, we went to state Q1 and the pointer moves on to next day. Now, at Q1, A applied, Q1, a applied. I again went to state Q0 and the pointer moves on to this B. Now at Q0, B applied. Q0, B applied. I went to state Q3, 
pointer moves to next B at Q3 B applied Q3 B applied and again I went to state Q0 and this Q0 is not the final state therefore this string is getting rejected okay so this is a DFA for odd number of A's and odd number of B's thank you so much